That was dumb. That was so dumb. It's a pomegranate. That's a proper bargain, that is. I'm gonna cut myself, aren't I? Apparently you can die from a lot of things that I used to do, so that's fun. I am well and truly done out with pasta at this point. Ow! Ow, that really hurt. Ow. Okay, so now I have a broken arm, but hi! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's me and my flimsy arm. Ow, that was not a good idea. It probably didn't even look cool. Hello, my favorite humans. I hope you've been well and welcome back to the channel. This video was actually recommended by one of you guys. So thank you for that. You asked for video suggestions. I have been following Jack Monroe campaigning on food price increases for the cheapest items. And I wonder if it's possible to survive for a 10 a week in London now, or if the prices would just leave you hungry, which I obviously wouldn't want you to actually do. Perhaps you could investigate whether it's still possible. You're so good with budget videos. I'll be honest, this wasn't something that I was like really aware of. So I'm really glad that one of you guys brought it to my attention. You're right, I think it would be interesting to revisit the £10 a week budget challenge to see if there is any differences um, compared to the last time I did it. Also, if you guys have any video ideas that you would like me to try out, definitely leave them in the comment section below because you never know, I might just do it. My budget this week is £10. This is a tight budget as it is, but it's now even harder because the UK is currently struggling with inflation, meaning the rates for cost prices is the highest it's been in a really long time. The Office for National Statistics said the increase of cost price was 5.4%. Now, Jack Monroe, who's an advocate in this area, argues that this statistic doesn't accurately reflect the true real picture. The inflation figures, the official figures for 5.4% price increases for food rises didn't chime with my experiences in the supermarket and millions of other people's experiences. So you I thought sat they down. were a lot higher? Yeah, they were a lot higher. So I sat down, I did the maths, I worked out exactly how much higher the cost of basic and value range food products were. And in some cases they were up 344%. Wow. They, they sort of take a typical basket, don't mm -hmm. they? And look at how the cost goes up over all those products on average. Yeah. And your suggestion was that they were looking at things like champagne, mm -hmm. which, you know, I think in anyone's book is a luxury item. Um, and, and actually, the way it went up was much smaller. So champagne mm -hmm. is expensive, but it didn't get as, as much more expensive as a tin of baked beans. So when you actually look at the reality of it, the price increase in food prices was affecting lower income households way more than any other people. Something ain't adding up. Essentially, the bottom line is UK is currently going through inflation and who's been hit the hardest? Lower income households. And this is something that I want to experience and see for myself. First thing I need to do is go shopping. So I went to Lidl's because it's one of the cheapest supermarkets in the UK. The first thing I looked at were the wonky veg boxes because you get a lot for a little. Where else do you go when you're on a tight budget? The tinned food aisle. Normally when I do my food shop, I don't go in with a set budget. I don't really think about it. I don't even come up with a shopping list. I literally just go in the shop and just pick random things and come back and forget I've forgotten butter. Story of my life. So that gives you a little idea of what my usual shopping trip is like. So this week is clearly gonna be very different to my usual. It's gonna require a lot of planning and steps, which isn't something I'm really good at, but we're working on it. My weekly food shop total came to an impressive £8.23. So here is my food shop for the week. It doesn't look too scary. I feel like we have variety, we have options, so I'm not too worried as of yet. This came to a total of £8.23. So normally, I would use up all my budget on the first shop. So I use the whole 10 pounds in one go and then I literally have to make what I have work because I have no other money left. This time I thought I would get the bulk of my shop but leave some spare change uh, just in case I need something towards the end of the week and I'm struggling. I still have that pot of money. I say pot of money, I've got like one pound 77 left. So it's not a lot but you never know, it might come in handy. Especially things like fruit and veg that will go off I'd rather wait till the end of the week and then buy new fruit and veg if I can afford it. I might be able to get another one of these boxes actually. <gasps> Ooh, okay. We have options. 
we love having options, especially when you're on a budget, because usually when you're on a budget, you do not have options. Things I have learned, when you live on a budget, you have to be more strategic, you have to have a plan. You don't have a plan, you are gonna struggle massively. I'm more of a wing it kind of person, but I also have that fear of not having money, so they kind of balance out. If anyone is living on a budget, the number one thing I would recommend is going to Lidl and getting the wonky veg box. So this is what a wonky veg box looks like. All of this would have gone to waste. They just would have thrown it out, which is such a, well, <laughs> it's such a waste because it's all good stuff. This whole box was £1.50, which is insane because you get all your fruit and veg and you get at a cheap price and there's literally nothing wrong with it. It's a win-win situation. It's a bit too good to be true, but it's very much happening. And if you're not aware, now you are. That was my main thing. As Soon as I went to the supermarket, I was like, I need to get this because if I get this, I'm okay. I'll be safe. This was basically gonna determine my whole week. If I didn't get this, I think I would have struggled more. So thankfully I found a box that I'm happy with. I went for this. Each wonky veg box has different things in it. I went for this one because it's got a bunch of onions in there and I wanted to cook a lot of the stuff. So very happy with my wonky veg box. Thank you, Lidl. I've got protein, I've got eggs for protein. Um, I've got a tin of beans. We've got our fish fingers, bananas, bread. Oh, one thing you guys told me last time is that I can freeze bread so it lasts longer. I've never frozen bread. So we shall see how that goes. But that means it'll last longer, right? I think I know I'm not a big fan of milk, but I needed to figure out what breakfast was gonna be. And this is such a big box of cereal for like uh, 55p or something like that. So um, I was like, that's gonna be my breakfast. All of this came to £8.23, which is honestly an absolute bargain. Now that I have everything, it's time to come up with a meal plan, which is quite arguably the most important thing and probably something people would think beforehand, but it's just not the way my brain works. I'm a visual person, so once I've got, because honestly, it's kind of like a mystery what you're gonna get, right? You kind of just have to go to the supermarket and see what your options are there. And then once you have the items, then you can figure out what to do with it. Is that just me? Maybe, I don't know. So the meals I have come up with are egg fried rice, so we've got the egg and that, and that's something I can meal prep and have later down the line. There's a lot of potatoes in here, so I'm thinking maybe I can do jack potato with beans. Um, and also fish and chips with the fish fingers, we love that. Homemade chips, cereal for breakfast, banana and toast for breakfast maybe, pasta and sauce, I gotta make the sauce myself. Oh, also things that I'm not considering are things like um, you know, like spices and salt and things like that, because you wouldn't normally get that on your weekly food shop. You don't buy salt every week, right? That's something you just naturally have in your cupboard. So things like that, spices and all that, I'm not considering. And like, who wants to eat unseasoned food for a week? Not me. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this, but there's a lot of veg in here and there's a leek. I've actually never had a leek before. I don't actually know if I even like leeks, but I was thinking maybe I can make like a veg curry with rice. Again, I say that. I don't even know if I can make that, but we'll see. We'll see if we can make that. Um, and that's all of the ideas I've had for now. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, is this enough food for a week? I don't know, but I still have more money left. I gotta remember, I still got that one pound 77. I'm expecting, in my brain, that 177 is like miracle money, and I'm expecting it to just magically provide me all the food I need towards the end of the week. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> <gasps> that was dumb. That was so dumb. Breakfast is cornflakes and milk. That's not so bad. That's actually not so bad. This is alright actually. I was worried about the milk taste and usually I cover the milk taste with lots of sugar, which is so bad. Which is why I don't have cereal that much. But um, this actually isn't so bad. Let's see what's in my wonky veg box. One sec- Ooh! There's a little bit of ginger in there. Not sure if I'm gonna use that. Though they do say ginger is really good for, you, for your throat. So maybe if I put ginger with hot water and have that, that might be good for my throat. But that's all I can do with that. Oh, ginger and lemon. We got a leek. We got an apple. We got lots of potatoes. Peppers. Tangerine. Or satsuma. Oh. Lots of onions. A lemon, we said that. Um, oh, a very, very squishy tomato. 
And this has been the most surprising one. Oh, garlic. Oh, good. Okay, we got garlic. This has been the most surprising one of all. It's a pomegranate. Aren't pomegranates like on the more like, not expensive, but like, I feel like they cost more than an apple, right? So I'm kind of surprised. I haven't had pomegranate in a good while. So this seems like a nice little treat. And I'm kind of surprised that this was in a wonky veg box. Cause I feel like this alone would be like 150, right? Pomegranate in Tesco, which is your average supermarket is one pound 25. Now if this is good, which it feels like it's not bad quality, it feels pretty firm and good. Um, then that's a steal. That's a proper bargain that is. Whole box is 150. Task number one is meal prep. Whilst my enthusiasm is still here, let me get the meal prep out of the way. And then it means when I get to the later end of the week, I'm not stressing. Things I have meal prepped. So I made veg curry, which actually oops went a lot better than I thought because I basically winged it. Oh wow, that's actually really good. And then the other thing is the egg fried rice. Honestly, I think we've done a cracking job here. Success. One thing I realized about doing these challenges is that the hardest part for me personally is the fact that you can't just grab something and eat it. You have to cook and prepare every, pretty much every meal, apart from cereal. That doesn't really go with my lifestyle. It tastes good. Then I had an apple for my snack and my final meal of the day which was veg curry with toast. I put the rest of the food in containers as meal prep for the rest of the week. I am surprised by how good this is. I've been deliverooing every day for the past week. I know it's really bad, I know, I know, I'm very aware. Um, and I would choose this over any of those meals any day. Like this genuinely tastes so good. Breakfast was pretty simple today. I just had banana and bread. It was great. Um, and now I'm sorting out lunch and dinner. So for lunch today, I'm gonna do fish and chips. I'm gonna make homemade chips and I'm gonna use half a tin of the beans and then the rest I'm gonna put in the fridge for my jacket potato tomorrow. So yeah, that's sorted. And then for dinner, I'm gonna do, no idea what that was, a bit of meal prep. And, um, I'm gonna basically make pasta with veg and tomato sauce. I'm gonna have that for dinner and then meal prep the rest. So the good thing is that most of the cooking is pretty much done because I have a lot of meal prep for the rest of the week. I've decided to save the pepper. I'm gonna save that for another meal. We got a ration when we're doing this challenge. So I'm just gonna make plain pasta with tomato and the leek and then just like put spices on it to give it some flavor. I'm thinking I need like more meal options. So I'm gonna use a pepper to make um, egg fried rice again because I have all the ingredients for that so that'll be another few meals right, I'm gonna try what a leek tastes like for the first time oh I just realized I have a liner's in all right hmm kind of has a spring onion vibe to it which I don't mind oh okay oh it's a bit spicy a leek you know it's got a kick to it you know what I don't mind it all right we're gonna go for the leek now is the pasta done. I just tried it and it's actually pretty baggy and I'm not gonna lie. It's actually really good. I'm gonna try and see if I can get three portions out of this. So I'm gonna meal prep this now. But um, yeah, that's pasta sorted. And I might have this with fish fingers so it doesn't get boring. We got our beans, which I'm gonna have to ration because we gotta ration everything this week. It's sunken in, god dang it. It's sunken in. I'm gonna cut myself, aren't I? Okay, great. So I'm gonna have some beans now with my fish and chips. And this is the only container I can find that's suitable. It's too big, but the rest is gonna go in here in the fridge. Decent, decent, don't look too bad. Like it doesn't look watery. That's all I care about. If it doesn't look watery, I'm good. I used to put the whole tin in the fridge until people told me that's like a poisonous hazard thing and uh, you could die from it. Apparently you can die from a lot of things that I used to do, so that's fun. But uh, now I'm gonna put it in a container and hopefully that doesn't kill me. We shall see. I honestly feel like most cafes sell you valued baked beans and they just charge you way more for it. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna taste any that much of a difference. But yeah, that I'm gonna save for tomorrow. Shall we try what homemade chips taste like? Actually not bad, not bad. All right, let's see if the fish fingers actually taste like fish. You know what? That's pretty decent. Another great meal, lads. We're doing quite well this week. <laughs>
Today's breakfast is gonna have to be fruit because my bananas are starting to look not so cute. But yeah, let's open this up and see what it's like. I think this is a good one, guys. It's actually really good quality. And it tastes great. So this has been a real success. I haven't had pomegranate in a really long time, but it tastes so good. I ended up getting four portions of pasta in the end, so that's not bad. But this is lunch. And with it, I'm gonna have fish fingers. It's just all the same color at this point. All my food looks like it's blended into one shade of color. It's gonna taste good and that's all that matters. I used some of the ingredients left to make more portions of egg fried rice so that I wouldn't be struggling with meals towards the end of the week and had jack of potato for dinner. Not going to lie, the beans were so incredibly sweet but you know what, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Another day, another bowl of cereal. Oh, it's all kicking off outside today. Why is it so busy today? I swear there's just a bunch of women marching outside my house and I wasn't invited. My fridge is still full of containers of meal prep. I got egg fried rice, I got the pasta, I've got the veg curry, I've still got bread, got two eggs left and a bunch of fruit. So like, I'm thinking I might not even need to use the rest of the money. Like me being me, <laughs> I'm thinking, should I try to just stick with what I have which is what, £8.23, and see if I can just rely on the £8.23 for the whole week. Because I've never done that before. Every time I've done the £10 challenge, I've used all the money up in one go, but like, I'm interested to see if I can just live on the £8.23. I don't know, we shall see. Right now, it seems quite likely. And yes, that all rhymed. I'm a poet. I want to be invited. It finally happened, I got sick of eating pasta. So I am gonna make fish finger sandwiches for lunch today. Spice it up a bit, do something a bit different. I thought I'd bring the tabletop question back because we haven't done that in a little bit. Okay, this is a cute little question. What small inexpensive activities and things make you unusually happy? So in terms of things, classic fairy lights, I don't know why I am obsessed with fairy lights or any type of lighting. I like lights. Other small things, I like nature, I like trees. I don't know why, but being around trees makes me really happy. I just like trees and fairy lights. I'm a simple gal. In terms of what small activities, I like poetry writing, I like anything artistic. I like creative artistic stuff. Or making videos, I like making videos. Um, editing, not all the time, but like, you know when you're in the right mood for it, I enjoy editing. So those are mine. Let me know what yours are in the comment section below. It'll be nice to see what you guys come up with and I might get inspired and get new ideas. Gratitude. When I think about when I'm the happiest, it's usually the little things that make me happy. Let me know what your answer is to this in the comment section below, um, cause I would love to hear your answer. Hello, hi, we are now on day five. And we're going strong. Meal prep is still going good, so we love that. Yep, still looks good. It's snack time, and I'm gonna go for an apple again. Cute. Oh, this one's not so cute, but it's fine. <laughs> I am well and truly done Ow, with pasta at this point. 10 pound weekly budget challenge. Let's talk about it. I would say this has been the most successful one yet, which going into this was not expecting. I thought I would struggle more than I did. And actually I didn't even end up using my full 10 pound budget. I spent eight pounds 23 on my first shop and um, I didn't need to use the £1.77 in the end. I could have, 100% could have used it, but I think me being me, I was like, look, I'm gonna see if I can go the whole week with £8.23. Obviously, I could have bought more fruit and veg and you know, put sauce and stuff like that if I wanted to, but actually I had enough food that um, I didn't need to. I could have, but I personally didn't need to. So yeah, I would say it went really well. I personally didn't notice that much of a price difference compared to the last time I did it. Um, could be wrong on that one, someone will probably tell me if I am, but I didn't really notice that much of a price difference um, with the items, with the basic items that I picked. Now I will say I've done these budget food videos a few times now and so I think a big part of the success of this week 
is because I've just gotten better at doing it, you know? Like when I first did these challenges, I wasn't that great at cooking. I think a big part of these challenge videos isn't really the money, it's what you do with that money. You can get two different kinds of people, both with the same budget, and one of them could come up with like all the meals for the week and the other one would struggle by day two. It really is about how you use that money, right? And I think for me, as time has gone got on, I've gone much better at rationing, portion sizes, cooking, and you, you know, figuring out what I can use for the different meals. So like, I've just gone better at like figuring all that out. So that at this point, I can look at all the food items and just figure out how I'm gonna like, meal plan it all. And actually the meal plan paid off. It worked well. I managed to, I mean, did the food taste not the best towards the end of the week? Of course, that always happens. But you know, I still managed to feed myself. I still got pasta left for me to enjoy. So we love that. I'm not looking forward to eating that pasta. I'm not gonna lie. But is it still food at the end of the day? Am I gonna go? I guess the challenge was would I starve by the end of the week if I lived on a tenner? And the answer is no, I didn't. I didn't have to starve. So we love that for me. I think all in all, um, I've just gotten better at figuring out what works and what not. I think my brain is just more like used to it. Now, this is just a singular experience, you know? Like does this weekly challenge video reflect everyone else's experience in the UK right now? Obviously not, but I wanted to give her another go and see what the differences are and stuff like that. And this has been my experience. And also we gotta remember, this was just one week, right? If I had to plan next week's one and you had to tell me, okay, you gotta come up with different meal options. I'll be honest with you, I would probably struggle because I've run out of my <laughs> options. I don't know what other kinds of meals and stuff I can cook if I had to do this again. So that's something to bear in mind as well. It's like, I feel like I've exhausted all my options. I wouldn't even know creatively what other things to cook with different food items and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other video ideas you would like me to try out, leave them in the comment section below and you never know, I might just try it. As always, I love you lots. Thank you so much for watching. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.